Welcome back. You're watching Masha Prime News. Much appreciation for staying with us. My name is Rida Karin Chibet. And now let me usher in our education segment. And today we look at Nalondo Boys Secondary School. Founded in 1972 as a county level school, St. Joseph Nalondo Boys High School, located in Kabuchai constituency in Bungoma County, has been identified as the academic hero in Bungoma County. My name is Mr. Juma Moses Wanjala. I'm the senior principal of Nalondo Boys Second School. Is actually called St. Joseph's Nalondo Boys. Uh, I want to take this chance to just thank all our stakeholders who have made it possible for this school to rise up to this level. And uh, academically, the school has been growing quickly as a giant. Until last, until the end of last year, the tail end of last year, we were still a sub-county and county school. We used to have a lot of Boys who are just day scholars, but now they're becoming boarders, and we, we are grateful. Nalondo Boys is a, is a giant. We have a population of about um, 690. We are about 700. And we are growing very fast. We are the fastest growing school around here. And the discipline is very good. The boys are calm. In fact, I'll invite you to just see them and you see the energy that they oomph. And this is what is giving us the confidence that with this energy and this oomph, we are going to move far. We are a school that is full. Because of this energy, we are putting them in a lot of co-curricular activities. Due to excellent records in academics, Nalondo Boys High School was given an extra county status in the year 2022, the move that has made the institution to restructure the way of operation to fit the rank. It was given to be an extra county as an extra county school from the end of last year. And this year we received a letter from Jogo acknowledging that now we are an extra county school. Uh, in 2020, just before 2019 and 2020, you find that our performance was always five, mean score 5.5 .5 to 5.9. Then a few challenges of uh, COVID, in the years of COVID, there were a few challenges. So we were about in the mean score of about four, but we were still a sub county school. But today, as a, an extra county school, we have sat down, done all what is possible, and our boys are ready. They are ready to run. We are having a target of a mean score of 6.2, and we know we are going to achieve it. Last year, despite all the challenges that uh, we had as a school, we were able to send about 20 students direct to university. But this year, 2023, we are targeted to have over 50 with a mean score about 6.5. The school owns various trophies, the recent being from the national music competition. Maybe you can look behind me, a great trophy. That one we just won it last year in uh, music. We went up to nationals and also we have a certificate, a very good certificate. Certificate awarded to St. Joseph's Nalondo Boys, representing Western region, reaching for the region national finals, and we were given a trophy because of that. Drama, science and engineering, journalism, ball games are among the extracurricular activities involved by the institution. And then other areas we have also excelled, you will see some of the trophies. We do very well in indoor games. And then in uh, volleyball, we were able to go up to the, uh, to the regionals. And then football, we were able to go to the county. But this year, we want to see if we can go slightly further and we are operating in almost all, all activities in the school. In fact, we have got two fields. <laughs> we have the school field and the stadium, which has been actually given to the school to be the custodian of the same. So we also host a lot of other, other, other schools around here. And in science engineering this year, we, we went up to the counties. And our boys, having just entered a bit late, but they tried so much, they were able to be number eight out of 47 schools. The school has produced bright-minded and prominent people in the country. The alumni team, led by the National Assembly Speaker Moses Masika Wetangula, have contributed to the school developments in construction of tuition blocks. Honorable Moses Wetangula. He's actually 
the current speaker of the National Assembly. He's a member of this school. Where we are sitting, mm -hmm. when you shall see it uh -huh. from outside, uh -huh. when he actually gave, he, he bequeathed this to the school uh -huh. as a, a as, as giving back to the community yeah. where he learned. Uh -huh. In fact, the, the class where he learned was right where we are sitting. And so he said, let me bring something when he was the Minister of Foreign Affairs. He was talking mm -hmm. to the Japanese, the mm -hmm. Japanese, and they built like, this very beautiful uh, class. Yeah. So here we have got all the officers are here. Yeah. So we are very grateful to Honor Moses Wetangula. Yeah. Then another alumni is Pastor Pius Luhale. The, he's a parish uh, father of Kamkuyua. Mm -hmm. And you need to find something about Father Pius. He has done a lot. He has done a lot. Mm -hmm. So he's an alumni of this school. Mm -hmm. That makes us very proud of him. Mm -hmm. He has raised very many people. We have also Eric Changalwa, who is a, an education director in Rwanda. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, they are doing a very wonderful program, which he also wants to implement here. Mm -hmm so that we can see how we can raise him the school higher. Yeah. Then there is one gentleman, Sudi Drips, mm -hmm. who is the manager of uh, At River Cement. Oh. In fact, when we were doing the dining hall, he brought us um, all the iron sheets. Mm -hmm. And then we are planning to do a story dormitory mm -hmm. as we change the face from mm -hmm. a lower school to an extra county school. Yeah. And he's saying, when you are ready, talk to me. The school principal appreciated efforts of St. Joseph Nalondo Boys Community that has helped the school to achieve its visions. I thank very much the BOM and the PA who have been given this school by the means of education to take care of it. And actually Nalondo is rising very fast. When we shall be talking to the boys, you shall see how they are confident. They like to call themselves that we are the boys. <laughs> In fact, we are telling our other brothers and sister schools that now wait for us. In the next few years, all roads will be led to Nalondo. It's a good school. It's very central. It's very near Bungoma town, but far enough to be in a, a nice rural area. And then communication is very good. Maybe you check around, you Google Nalondo, you see that communication is very good. And that makes your child be as safe as they can be. The eternal of Ubuwa Wekesa. Naibu wa mwalimu mkuu shule ya vulana ya Nalondo. Nidhamu ni kitu muhimu kwa wanafunzi na nidhamu inatokana na kuja kwa shule, kufika kwa shule kwa wakati unaofaa, kuja kwa shule kila siku kwa sababu tuko na wanafunzi wa bweni na kutwa. Na pia tunaona kuwa hiyo nidhamu yao ikikuwa nzuri wakikaa kwa darasa, wataelewa, watasikiza walimu na watafuata maagizo. Uh, kama mwalimu mwenye anahusika na mambo ya nidhamu kwa shule tuko na sheria karibu 13 hapa ambazo tunazitumia ambapo tunatumai kwa kila mwanafunzi anapoingia hapa anazifuata anaweka mkono sahihi kuonyesha kuwa atazifuata na ziko pia na consequences zake ziko na mambo ambayo ukienda kando vile tunafanya for my prime news my television i'm reader carrying chebet